Hey guys, today's Let's Talk is going to take a slightly different format. Uh, I've already recorded it twice. The first time I had a mic issue, second time I had a camera issue. So we're going to go with a vlog type deal thing here and maybe it'll actually turn out better. We'll see how it goes. Today I wanted to talk about music in games and how important it is. My opinion is that music is not really an addition to games, it's not icing on the cake. Music is part of the storytelling. There's an old video adage that audio is at least half of video, sometimes more, especially something in, in like horror movies, and I believe that's true with games as well. What connects me most to the games of my past is the music of those games. Without the music, most of those stories wouldn't be nearly as impactful, and so I want to talk about three of my favorite songs from games. Now before we go any further, I want to emphasize this is not a best of video game music. Music is so subjective, I don't think anyone can really have a best of. These are just a few of my favorites from games that I played all growing up, and some even today. And no Final Fantasy, because I could make a whole separate list with just those. Stupid fly. Alright, number one is the opening from Chrono Cross, often translated as something like Time Scar. The reason I love this song so much is because it kind of epitomized to me what an RPG is. At least what I want it to be. The first time I saw that opening in Chrono Cross, which, by the way, I believe is an inferior game to Chrono Trigger, the first time I saw that opening, it was melancholy, it was sad, it was exciting, it was mysterious, pretty much anything I want from a great video game story all, all at the same time. The opening starts with that soft little flute for the first 20 seconds or so as that little book opens on the table. It's kind of like Grandpa setting you down to tell you a story and it kind of leans into this uh, little melody that gets closer and closer to building and then once it hits the violin parts, the only word I could really think of that describes it is swashbuckling, and I do not throw that term around loosely. It's melancholy and just super adventurous at the same time, and I really love that, because that's exactly what that game is. The opening text over that, that small little flute actually even talks about the characters still being in pain while they're laughing and having a great adventure, which is just a, a really cool thought to me. Number two is the Velvet Room theme from the Persona games which I know sounds like an upscale gentleman's club, but ignore that for now. A big thing about the Persona games is that they're not a traditional high fantasy JRPG setting. They're set in what, for all intents and purposes, is modern day Japan. While you're in those modern day Japan sections, at school or in town, things like that, the music, I think the closest thing to describe them would be either J-pop or J-rock. Kind of soft listening, um, easy to listen to, but still enjoyable with a singer who's first language is definitely not English, but they're singing in English, and the whole thing is just very charming. Makes makes me chuckle most of the time I hear it, and it's just a, a nice relaxing thing to listen to. But the themes of the game really plays into the dichotomies of the characters in that everyone is repressing emotions that they have to face, and so there should be a contrast in music, and there is. When your player character enters the Velvet Room, the area where they face their inner selves and unlock new creatures to fight with, the Music is not J-pop, it is kind of a soft, lilting piano theme, and then a highly pitched soprano operatic lady comes in, which really caught me off guard the first time. And honestly, the first time I heard it, I was thinking, this does not seem right, this doesn't really fit. But the more I listened to it, the more I realized that it shouldn't fit. This is a very strange ethereal space where you're facing your inner self in the middle of all your daily chores and hanging out with friends and, and things like that. It is a wholly separate universe from everything else you do in the game, and that really shows through the music. And the more I hear it, the more it gets stuck in my head, the more I like it, even though it still creeps me out. Number three is the Gusty Garden Galaxy theme from Super Mario Galaxy, and please don't make me say that again. I know most people are probably thinking, why not the original Mario Bros theme from the original Mario Bros? Well, that is very iconic, and there's no beating that. That is, that is like the bedrock of video game music. But what I think makes the Super Mario Galaxy theme, at least that area, so so important is that it really encapsulates both 2D and 3D Mario. You've got the pleasant sounding 
melancholic opening. I know I've used melancholy more than once in this video, but it's very important to me. I think the best way I can put it is it's the very first game that I was ever nostalgic for as soon as I started playing it, which makes no sense. My very first video was on nostalgia, and I don't understand that one bit. It's able to fully personify who Mario is to all of us while still introducing New Horizons in this giant universe he's now exploring. It sounds like the old stuff, exciting and, and satisfying and something you want to spend time with, and it also kind of breaks New Horizons. Like I said, music is very subjective. It's kind of hard to explain how I feel about it, but every time I listen to that theme, I know I just I want to be playing Mario, even when I'm playing Mario, which is impressive. So I think what we've gotten from this video is that I like being sad. Could have told you that already. Well, those are three of some of my favorite songs in video games, other than Final Fantasy, of course. Uh, it's very subjective, like I said. If you have your own three, or just some you want to talk about, please leave it in the comments below, or let me know on Twitter, which I will put right down here. I would love to hear from you. I love discussing this kind of stuff, which is why I'm now currently talking to a webcam. It, it doesn't even talk back all that often. Please click the little like button and subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, guys.